Okay guys, I'm coming to you on location today. Just rode my bike to Newport Beach Back Bay in Southern California. It was a beautiful day. It's a little bit humid. Took some scenic shots for you. Hopefully you like it. Um, what I came out here today to talk about was post juice fast and post raw for about 30 to 40 days at this point. So um, I started my juice feast as you guys saw. I posted that day two video. Um, that was about 60 days ago at this point. Um, I did do the juice fast for about 30 days, including the, um, the uh, refeed time. And I have been raw since. Now I did uh, stray off the path, I guess you could say, for two days this last weekend. I did some testing on my own. This was calculated. It wasn't something that I had to, I felt like I had to do and I just like freaked out and hit the, the drive through at McDonald's or something like that. Um, for me, honestly, eating raw has been uh, a pleasure. Um, I love going back to the fruits. I've been doing intermittent daily fasting along with this. So uh, kind of how I've been doing it is about an eight hour eating window. Usually I won't eat or drink any liquid until about 2 p.m. And then I'll eat as much as I want and drink as much as I want until about 8 p.m. And then I usually go to bed, I don't know, midnight or 2 a.m. or something like that. I usually go to bed pretty late. So. Um, Let's talk about the, the juice fast and kind of what I gleaned from that. Um, <clears throat> the last few days of the juice fast, I essentially was doing uh, orange juice only. The last 10 days was orange juice only. Uh, I was throwing in a couple green drinks here and there at nighttime, but um, I have access to really good oranges here. My uncle's got an orchard in his backyard and I was handpicking the best oranges, organic, uh, you know, pressing them myself every single day, spending like an hour, hour and a half a day pressing the orange juice. It was delicious, don't get me wrong, but after 10 days of straight orange juice, you do get a little bit tired of it. And um, I was feeling a bit of acidity in my stomach sort of backing up sometimes, but that, that wasn't too big of a deal. Um, now, as far as uh, how I felt, um, I did have a good clear mind most of the juice fast. Uh, the first nine days I had the diarrhea, then that stopped. I went to basically um, formed stool for, for the rest of the time. I did see a lot of mucus come out, sometimes with the stool, sometimes on its own. And uh, that was a very interesting experience. I have never seen mucus come out of me uh, other than my nose, maybe when I was sick, but um, that was a first for me. So the mucus is something to watch out for. Everybody says it's worms, guys. I don't think it's worms. Um, unless you know you have some sort of parasite infection, um, uh, I tend to think it's just mostly mucus. So, um, it was a fantastic experience. I recommend anybody to do this. By the end of it, um, I was at a, at a wedding, at my friend's wedding, and the food that was getting passed around was just absolutely stirring up my senses, and I just could not say no to eating um, the next few days. Of course, I broke the fast properly, as John recommends, with the, um, the prunes first. Things went as planned. Uh, I ate juicy fruits the next day. I had mangoes ready to go. They were fantastic. And, uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed the refeeding process and then been raw ever since. Um, now let's back up a moment to where I said that I went off the rails a little bit last weekend. Last Friday, I had steamed sweet potatoes with some corn tortillas very basic meal and then saturday i had uh, papa john's cheeseless vegan pizza which i've had many times before back when i was eating cooked food and although the foods were good i did enjoy just slamming them down and filling my belly up with warm hot food um, they were not worth it at all uh, it took about three hours to get the food from what it felt like to get down from my stomach down to my small intestine which should only take like 45 minutes with uh, raw food max and um, and then I spent the next couple of days trying to get the food out of me I could feel it in my small intestines and I was going for bike rides and uh, when I would take off on the bike I just felt uncomfortable and I never feel that way on raw food uh, if I eat a bunch of fruit usually within 20 to 30 minutes I'm ready to go and this pizza was affecting me the next day so this food is not meant to be in us cooked food is not meant to be in us I am convinced of that at this point um, everybody who says that, you know, you can sneak in a little sweet potato here and there. Um, I'm not going to say it's the worst thing for you, but for me, it does not digest very well. Um, and I am after perfect digestion and I want my digestion to be 
super good. So let's say in a year I'm doing raw foods and then, you know, maybe I can start sneaking in sweet potatoes or something like that. If that's what I really want to do, I'm not like super against it. I'll eat a pizza if I have to, but it's not, uh, it's not something that is for optimal health by any means. Okay. So let's get down to it guys. We want to see the transformation process. Again, this is about 60 days since I started the juice fast. And uh, today I'm coming to you about 137, 138 pounds. I started the juice fast at 150 pounds. So it was about a 12 to 13 pound weight loss. Uh, most of that was during the juice fast and I've lost a couple more pounds doing uh, raw foods. And I also have been taking some bentonite clay and psyllium husk mixture. I was scared to take that back on the juice fast, but I really recommend that for everybody at this point, especially if you're doing raw foods at least. Um, if you're doing like juice mono or mono fruit fasting or juice fasting, definitely, definitely take it. I didn't wanna, you know, I wanted to go as pure as possible without messing with my system as much as possible. But um, once I got that bentonite clay in there and that psyllium husk, I saw so much mucus come out of me. No hocus pocus, no BS. I mean, mounds and mounds of mucus. I don't wanna get too into graphic detail, but uh, it's gonna open your eyes for sure. So I really recommend that. So let's, uh, let's get the shirt off and let's see what the gut looks like. Cause that's what, that's what I came to this juice fast for. And that's what uh, you guys probably wanna see. So here we go. All right guys, moment of truth. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm out here. Um, if you remember that first video I showed, I kind of showed the side angle of me. I'm gonna overlay that in this uh, clip. So really what I wanted to improve was this sort of stomach area. I wanted to get this stomach flatter. I just always felt like there was something in there that was kind of pushing out. And especially now when I focus on kind of a, a nice neutral posture, um, keeping my abs sort of um, positioned correctly, basically there's not much there. I mean, there's a bit of indentation here, which I did not have before. Um, this whole thing is just greatly, uh, greatly improved. It's a lot smaller. Uh, I am 12 pounds lighter, so, you know, a little bit skinnier and whatnot, but um, overall, I'm happy so far. I'm gonna keep going with the raw foods. And um, yes, I'm out here on a public bike path, but it's what I do for you guys. It's what I do for YouTube. And this is what everybody came to see today, to see these results. Remember, this is 60 days um, since I started the juice fast. 30 days juice, 30 days raw. So go out there, juice fast, I recommend it. And I'm gonna keep doing work too, guys. I'm gonna keep doing the bentonite and the psyllium and uh, we'll just keep it moving. So I'll make some more videos for you guys. Don't, for don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later, peace.